Look closely. Impressed? No. What if you found out this is made out of just one piece of large paper folded over and over in such a precise fashion as to create a bird or jellyfish? Bet you're amazed now. Origami is the Japanese art of folding paper into shapes and figures. The amount of patience and precision is hard to imagine when you look at these works of art close up. Artist Kevin Box, originally from Bartlesville, and his wife Jennifer made this crane, which unfolded looks like this. Scott Henderson is the curator of this exhibit called Into the Fold, the art and science of origami. I knew a little bit, uh, but my world expanded and unfolded as a... As I, yeah. He explains the crossroads of origami and science. It's a lot more than just, just what you might think of as paper boats or cranes. Uh, most of the artists in the show are scientists um, in the fields of mathematics. Uh, there's, there's chemists, there's biologists, uh, there's physicists. So this is the artwork of Eric and Martin Demain. Uh, Eric Demain is a professor at MIT. He graduated with his bachelor of science at age 14 and is the youngest professor at age 20 at MIT. This style is a circular fold, it's, so when you look at it, you may not think origami, but it definitely is folded paper. This is paper, it's a certain kind of paper called elephant hide paper, and it's folded in a circular pattern, which is, which kind of, when you, when you use a circular fold, it creates its own shape. These are examples of uh, tessellations. These are by Win Win, who is an engineer from Cornell, and it, it shows you the examples of the folding patterns beneath the tessellation. So the tessellation is a repeating pattern over a two-dimensional plane that will just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. So if you had a big enough piece of paper, that could go on indefinitely. If you see in the middle, you can see the original uh, shape, and uh, it just repeats itself over and over and over. And just the neat detail, like the beak and its mouth is open, it's not just like this. Right. It's like and the claws. Look and the claws. Yeah. Right. So cool. And when you look closely, you really do see all the different molds. Mm -hmm. You do. These masks I found truly intriguing. Again, using just one piece of paper, the artist just starts folding, the resulting face seeming to appear out of his unconsciousness. It takes about a week to create just one mask. Whether big like this 80-foot origami snake, so small you need a magnifying glass, used in fashion, or function, origami is everywhere, in art and science, in nature. Yes, I see it in the simplest things, um, and a lot of people will probably walk away with that as well. You'll, you'll start recognizing it all around you. I'm Angela Buckaloo for Discover Oklahoma in Oklahoma City.